Hey, hey, internet, Swag here. And as you might have already noticed, the Circuits V2 beta has gone live. Commence AI Dance Party. Now this beta will come with its own set of rules and peculiarities, so once we have CV2 enabled and looked at its rules, we will build a small AI setup to get you accustomed to the new system. Let's get to it. Now to turn on beta content for your room, you can go to this room, general setup in your settings, and on the second page of room settings that is allow creative tools beta content. Turn this on and apply settings. We get ourselves a big warning list. It's important that you have a read. We may make drastic changes to beta content up to and including breaking your creations that use beta content. Any room that uses beta content forfeits the ability to be entered into official Rec Room creative contests. You cannot create inventions in beta rooms. This may change. As the system gets closer to its final stages, this might change as it is right now. There will be so many things that could still change, could still break, that at the moment, inventions is not allowed because it is simply too unstable. And rooms that use beta content will be marked with the hashtag beta tag. Now, you yourself can make use of this. If you want to see what other people are doing with the new beta content, go to your play tab, put in the hashtag beta, and check out what kind of rooms other people are building with the new Circus V2 system. Are you sure you wish to turn them on anyways? Well, yes, that's what we're here for now, innit? Now that I have applied those settings, I can go to my makeup pen, open palette, and at the end, there is a Circuits V2 tab. Excellent. Now, after you have turned Circuits V2 on, the first thing you will require to do anything with it is get yourself an event receiver. Almost anything in Circuits V2 flows out from the event receiver, and as you can see, there are many different events that we can configure this to. But for now, we will go with Test Event. And Test Event you can find here at Send Test Event, and that will fire an execution from this pin. In our Gadgets in other gadgets, we have a new spawner that works with the Circuits V2 setup. We can configure it and it will have the same amount of enemies as our old spawner. For our demonstrative purposes, we will go with our regular box standard melee goblin. Unlike the regular spawner gadget, we can now configure this goblin and there are many, many new options right here. You can adjust its speed, you can adjust its health. If you want your goblins to be insta-killed, you can put that health to one. What is important for us at the moment is that the behavior on spawn is disengaged and it will not engage combat behaviors. This will basically make our goblin docile, pacifist, so that it is easy to work with. And now, when we wire our start to our test event and send test event we should get ourselves a pacifist goblin it's more fun to kill them when they actually do things um so for that to give the ai orders we need to turn this spawned object into an ai so there is a chip that says creation object to AI and this will output an object value but once we've run it through here it will change that object value into an AI value. That means that we can tell it to do things. One of the things you can get it to do is to patrol a path. So in here, in our gadgets, other gadgets, we have an AI path point. 
Now, you can use these to set up multiple path points, and it will patrol between those points after you have wired them together. In circuits V2, let's see, let's set AI patrol points. Yes, excellent. It wants us to specify which AI and which patrol points. So for AI, we wire it to our creation object to AI. And for patrol points, we will wire it to our path points. And now all it needs at the end of that is an execution to tell it to update the AI with this pathing information. So for that, we are going to wire our creation object spawned to here so that it will fire an execution, update the AI and patrol value, and basically set the AI to patrol right over there. So now if we send a test event, it should spawn in that goblin that is still pacifist and patrol in between those two patrol points. Excellent! Now this is all fine and dandy if you've got it patrolling, but if you want to take it a little step further, we now have a very interesting chip that says uh, AI set line of sight parameters. This will basically allow you to dictate what exactly the AI can and cannot see. So if we wanted to patrol and then attack a player when it sees that player, then we go back into configuring our goblin, uh, automatically engage combat behavior when finding targets, so this will tell it to attack if it has seen anyone. This allows us to set what kind of vision the AI has. So if we set its vision type to cone and there we go and set it to mm, I think three meters is a good distance. Set it its fission cone angle to 90 degrees, which is like a straight corner. And we'll keep its hearing range on zero because we want to be able to sneak up to it. And require line of sight for targeting. Just keep that as true. Oh wait, one thing we also want is for the move speed to be a little bit slower because then we can sneak up on it. So send test event. It will go that way. We'll control and because its line of sight is behind it, it will not see us until it turns around. Hey! Excellent. I hope this tutorial helped you make a little bit of sense of the inner workings of the new Circuit C2, but please stay tuned, there's many more tutorials to come because we barely scratched the surface of CV2 with this one. But for now, I hope you use your newfound knowledge wisely, and to see you in the next one. Bye.